Welcome to another informative episode of Housing Development. I am Flora Annie, your housing diva. It's still the month of March where we celebrate women. So against that backdrop, we shall be discussing some topical issues as it relates to women today on the program. As everyone, regardless of gender, has the right to a decent shelter and improved well-being. For when you give man his basic needs such as food, shelter, healthcare, and basic education, including clothing, you've given him the necessities of life. Let's see the news making waves in the sector. I'll be back shortly. The Minister of Mines and Steel Development, Mr. Olami Lekon, a deputy, has acquired a high price of cement in Nigeria, saying it leads to quackery and building collapse. A deputy made the assertion at the second edition of Lafarge Africa PLC. It is a platform for the liberation of issues, policies and development, shaping Nigeria's construction, infrastructure and housing sectors. The management of the Federal Housing Authority, FHA, has assured every contractor of commitment to pay off every outstanding debt owed to those who have completed their projects and have met all agreed key performance indices by Friday the 19th of March. The Managing Director, MD FHA, Senator Benga Ashafa, gave the clarification on Tuesday in a statement released through his media office. Ola Niyu Ajayi, a commercial law firm, has called for clarity in the federal government's bid to sell some key national assets to boost the country's revenue. Writing in its March bulletin, the company noted that it was obvious that the government had resorted to the development as a means of improving liquidity, reducing operational costs, and improving the operational efficiency of its assets, given the depth of resources and higher levels of expertise that is abound in the private sector. Specifically, it noted that the government intended to use the proceeds realized from the disposal of the assets, which cut across energy, industries, communications, and infrastructure to fund the 2021 budget. Vice President Yemi Yoshibanjo says the only way to effectively address the massive infrastructural deficit of the country is through public-private partnership agreements. He disclosed this on Thursday at the virtual opening of a two-day retreat of the National Council on Privatization and Commercialization Act of 1999. He added that a review of the budgetary allocation for capital expenditure, even over the past decade, will show that the government resources are completely insufficient for this purpose. I'm Debbie Erb. I work for OPIC in the United States and uh, keep watching the Affordable Housing Development Program. Show for giving us this opportunity and we are so pleased to interact with the people in the audience here. They are showing a lot of interest and curiosity. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Abuja is phenomenal. It's it's a great experience and definitely we have some great exposure. Everyone here has obviously got some great things to offer and visit us at our stand because we have some great offers for you in Dubai. This is our second time of attending this show. The first time was last year and um, it was a very successful show and that's why we have decided to come back here again this year. And from what we've been able to notice, we know that even the show is even growing better and better. And um, apart from that, um, this show allows you the opportunity to meet with so many people in the beauty industry. And what it does again is it exposes your product to people that um, are ready to embrace change or embrace um, new technology when it comes to um, building and projects and um, stuff like that.
It's been wonderful. It's an avenue to meet a lot of people across the industry. So it has really actually been a great innovation on the part of the organizers. The CEO of the Abuja Housing Show is a great guy. He's a fine gentleman, very innovative. He started this quite small and progressively he's uh, uh, transformed the vision into a global brand. This event is now a global brand. It's gone beyond Nigeria, it's gone beyond Africa. People coming from North America, South America, Europe, Asia, African countries have made it their home exhibition. It is the benchmark for housing shows in Africa, and maybe I should say globally. been following uh, the organizers very keenly and uh, we can say that they have been growing from one level to another. In fact, this year's one is superb and we can say really that uh, Abuja housing has come to stay and uh, we hope that we'll now be going from one country to another exhibiting, uh, we say kudos to the organizers. Surpasses all preventive measures designed to permanently prevent the damage and quality reduction of wood and wood based materials by termites, fungi, bacteria, and other boring insects. Use Timberlock Premium Wood Preservative to prevent, correct, and defend wood and wood materials against deformities caused by termites and other insects in the later days. Timberlock is designed to solve wood preservation challenges with a standard you can trust. Timberlock Wood Preservative kills termites instantly. Timberlock Wood Preservative, the wood preservative brand leader in Africa. For full details of the news visit www.africanhousingnews.com The issue of joint property ownership remains controversial. The question is, should a spouse insist on both names on land or property document? Now let's take a listen as some Nigerians give answer to this question on Voices on the Street. <music> As a matter of fact, I do. I think where both um, parties, spouses, agree to have joint properties, the documentation is very critical, very key, especially considering the um, environment we live in, our cultures, you know. So I believe I'm an advocate that both parties should have their name properly written, full names, no initials, full names stated properly on the document so that there is no ambiguity as to who is who especially where you have a situation where the man has other wives or something both parties must have their names properly written on the documents yes i would like to and that's because in case my husband died or just to avoid trouble I would like to include my name so that it will be written there that after he died, the property belongs to me. No, as long as my children are concerned, I will not include my wife because my wife is 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 not is not really uh it's, it's, it's not it's not from me. I don't know I don't know how to, to exactly put it, but 
because of my children, because women they are very funny. So maybe tomorrow if I'm late now, she might like to channel the whole thing and possibly go away with my children and go with the property. Sure. Why? Uh, my wife is a part of me. I see her to be me in all things. And uh, if truly I love her, then uh, I think I should not hide anything from her. So for that reason, my properties, she has a share. Yes, I would like to have it because of my children, so that at the, so that my children will inherit the property. Not at the end of everything, my husband people will come and snatch or collect the property. One of the most prominent features of your house is your roof. Your roof will tell how old your building is. At Plus World, we pride ourselves in having the expertise and products to bring your roof back to life. While other roofing companies suggest removing the roof, we restore the roof with warranty assurance. Let Plus World Roofing recoach your old and fading roofs and make your roofs brand new. Our products are eco-friendly and completely harmless to human and the environment. We offer services that will sustain your roof's integrity and by extension, your property value. This includes roof repairs and maintenance for residential, commercial and industrial properties. Our roof restoration solution saves you up to 70% the cost of replacing your roof. Contact Plus World Roofing today. Well, those are the opinions of some Nigerians on voices on the street. But know that the decision for joint property ownership is personal and unique to every couple. If you're still wondering if it is okay or not, legal practitioner Victor Nodi will shed more light on this topic. Take a listen. You see, when couples come together to acquire properties, most times they don't get to talk about the quantum of contributions each make. That is always lost in the whole scheme, in the whole arrangement. Nobody talks about, oh, my wife brought 40 percent, I brought 60. Oh, this property belongs to Mr. Mr. and Mrs. A and B. That's what you get to hear most times or you get to see. So when problem does occur, for example, let me, let me, let me give you some situations that problem can come up. One, the couple might fall out and they decide to go their separate ways. Maybe through divorce or they just separate and they don't go, they don't bother to go for divorce. And when they do separate, now what become what happens? What becomes of the property they both acquire jointly? I know situations have has arisen where the wife will say, Look, I don't want to have anything to do with this man anymore. I want the property partition. That's how the law uh, explains it. Partition means sell it and we share it equally. Or lease it out, we share the proceeds equally. Don't use it, except I also have a right. You, you seek my consent. Don't use it for a loan. Don't use it to, to, I mean, to as a collateral without my consent. And of course, if you are going to sell it, it must have my, it must have our joint signatures. You see the, the, the complexities that comes from there. My advice, really, with with uncertainties in the society we live in, I will advise that people should be more circumspect. They should not be in a hurry to go into joint ownership of properties. They should not go be, um, be in a hurry to go into joint ownership of accounts. It doesn't stop anything. It doesn't affect your relationship with your spouse if you decide to have a distinct account, a separate account from your spouse's. If you choose to do joint ownership of properties and because of emotions and whatever for whatever reasons, uh, do tidy up other details. You are going to buy properties with your, with your spouse, let it show from the documentation that we are both involved. But if everything else comes to, like they would say, if the push comes to shove, then you resort to the court. You might be, as a matter of factly, a co-owner of the properties, 
But because you don't do some of these little little things that needs to needed to be done at inception, you cannot really prove your case in court. And then you you will not have problem of course say sorry, this is not a, a Father Christmas. You don't come here to come and get you see if you say you are a co owner, where on what basis am I going to base my decision? That's where I said, be careful to do the little, little things that matter. You know, when a man and his wife are married statutorily and anything happens to the man, the wife is the first is a successor. That's what the law recognizes. And of course, letter of admission will be issued to the wife and maybe other adult children. Are you with me? So the, for a top party to now, I mean, interlope and get involved, the, the law will not allow that. And also, also it, it also will be dependent on how the kind of wife she is. If she's the one that is laid back, we allow people to come and trample her on her and take away her properties. That could also become an issue. Welcome back. You're watching Housing Development. The second edition of the Most Applauded Construction Artisans Awards competition is already on the way with grand finale scheduled for the 29th to 30th March 2021 at the Moshud Abiola Stadium, formerly called National Stadium Abuja. Builder Samson Okbalua, the chairman of Construction Artisans Award, will speak more. The Construction Artisans Award is a national skill competition geared towards celebrating and rewarding Nigerian artisans with a focus on providing support to them through sustainable resources such as financial incentives, free work tools, equipment, training and assessment. Speaking with the chairman of the Construction Artisans Award, Builder Samson Opalua, he says the award was put in place to celebrate quality artisanship with the aim of raising the bar of artisanship and competency within the industry and most importantly to glamorize artisanship. The intention is to raise the bar, artisanship and competency within the construction sector. We intend to achieve all this by giving them a platform to test their skills, to get assessed, and ultimately to glamorize artisanship. Speaking further, he says the Made in Edition, which was held in 2019, was a huge success. And for the 2021 edition, all plans are in place as all COVID-19 safety protocols would be adhered to. We held the first, the Made in Edition in 2019. It was a rousing success. However, last year, we couldn't hold it because of the pandemic, uh, because our program uh, brings people together and uh, it, it breaks some of the protocols that were put in place by, uh, by the pandemic and we had to change the course and now we are ready. We are ready to comply with the protocol as well as ensure that standards are kept and maintained. He also stated that the artisans' data would be captured nationally so that they can easily be assessed by those who may need their services while also emphasizing on the need to give support to competitions of this nature. I want to use this opportunity to invite all and sundry to come and see our artisans display their expertise. At that venue also we are going to give them opportunity to meet with those who can support them if they want to go into entrepreneurship and we are going to capture their data nationally so that we will know what is the competence of each artisan and where they are located. And we intend also to export this on other platforms so that whenever artisans of particular competency are required, they can be assessed easily. We have already created a website which will give all the data and the details so that those who need their expertise and their uh, competency will be able to access them easily. It's a major development in our country and uh, I enjoy all and sundry to participate and to come and be with us. There is a need to support competitions of this nature because it gives credence to the desire to up the scale of competency in this country. Uh, a nation that wants to develop must support and continue to drive at excellence. And this is what we want to do in the construction sector. And we ask that people should support and join us 
and even other sectors should emulate us. I am Dr. Sam Ebu, Senate Committee Chairman on Housing. Keep watching Housing Development Program. The Abuja Housing Show is an annual event that brings together many vendors and exhibitors, providing attendees the opportunity of networking. The Housing and Construction Expo ran, during which time approximately 15,000 people attended the event. Abuja Housing Show generally attracts foreign visitors to Nigeria and the host city, Abuja. There is always an influx of visitors and the opportunity to network with thousands of attendees from contractors, developers, architects, government and other construction industry professionals. We will feature over 200 local and international exhibitors and thousands of quality attendees showcasing the latest projects, development, investment and opportunities. The most highly regarded Abuja Housing Show Conference and Exhibitions aims to not only bring together top decision makers in the housing construction industry but also create opportunities for the visitors to witness and experience the latest equipment, machineries, innovation of construction, interior designs and property developers. Why exhibit? Meet the right people. The event will bring together the key players in the market, providing exhibitors with valuable face time with both existing clients and potential new business partners. It is the best way to make sure you are meeting the right people for you. Exhibitions are a great way to build relationships, make sales and gather relevant leads. Face-to-face -face interaction allows your sales team to achieve the equivalent of two months of work across three days. Exhibitions are a great way to stand out from the crowd, build an attention-grabbing stand, have your best staff on site, conduct some effective pre-show promotions and scrupulously follow up with the contacts you've made. Showcase your latest product and solutions. Take advantage of the high number of visitors and the various demo programs throughout the event. To showcase your latest product and build your brand awareness, appeal to all visitors looking for solutions for their major construction and infrastructure projects by introducing your latest technologies and services. Abuja Housing Show is the ideal event for any new product and technology launches. Keep a date with Housing Development Program every week on TVC. Housing Development is the first and pioneer housing program in Nigeria and by extension Africa. It remains the authentic voice of the Nigerian housing and construction industry. Housing Development is the only credible and specialized platform for seasoned professionals in the build industry where quality and credible players in the real estate sector meet to interact, showcase and analyze government policies. It is no doubt that hundreds of thousands of prospective Nigerians who desire to own their personal properties have done so through the assistance of housing development program in the last 10 years. If you are a stakeholder in the build industry, here is where you must be. We are authentic credible and supported by all the leading professionals in the built industry. Housing Development on TVC This is Housing TV Africa on YouTube and click on the subscribe button. Subscribe to Housing TV Africa to stay updated on latest happenings in Nigeria's housing sector. Follow our social media pages, like and share our posts on Facebook, Housing Development Program, on Twitter, Housing Program, 
on Instagram at Housing Program. Join the conversation and keep up with latest housing updates. And that is it on housing development today. Thanks for watching. I remain Flora Annie, your housing diva. See you soon and do stay safe out there.